Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. We're going to be talking about Real Housewives of Atlanta. I don't know if they're going to show it this Sunday coming. But honey, baby, Sanya tries to get into it with Kenya Moore, the slay assassin. Don't she know? Haven't she heard? Well, it seems like she ain't uh, losing no sleep over it. And her husband, meaning Sanya's husband, got her back. Which I don't know why he got his little ass into women's stuff. Seemingly like a Peter situation again. Patricia's coming out. So Aaron, I guess he's going to be called Alice. Because I'm like, high, I had high hopes for uh, Aaron Hall. He's always portrayed himself to be on the show as an upstanding guy. A loving guy. A concerned guy. But when men get into women's stuff. That's where they cross the line. Okay. A man can't fuss with another woman. And a woman can't fuss with another man. It's just rules and regulations. That people still can't seem to get it together. But we got this article about Urban Bell. Mag.com. Mag, mag, I didn't say Mag Magazine. But it's Urban Bell Mag.com. And we're talking about. It's like three different scenarios are going in on one playing field. You got Marlo and Candy. Uh, I'm sorry, Marlo and Candy getting into it over something. Todd, she said about Todd. I mean, Marlo said something about Todd and Candy was defending him. And then you got Kenya and Marlo out there fussing about her nephews, and she ain't doing enough. To keep them with her, which I didn't quite understand neither one of those situations. But then we got the third one. We got Sanya and Kenya fussing at each other, and that's when Mr. Aaron thought he would just jump in and say something small at like, uh, "Don't disrespect my wife" or something to that degree. Oh, uh, he said, something, don't talk to my wife like that. And I'm like, Aaron, if you don't sit yourself down, you're in a flying jet. It seems like it's been the descent downward, okay? You sit your ass down and stop getting in women's business, okay? Even if Kenya wanted to go and slap your wife, Sanya, Sonya, she could. And you couldn't jump in it. You see what I'm saying? Because it's a woman-on-woman -woman thing. It'd be a whole other different scenario if you hit Kenya. So... Uh, sit down. We saw a side of you that we don't like, that we do not care to find out again. So we want you to adjust your attitude and your mouth. Okay, we're gonna put you over there with Todd. Only person that knew how to handle some things was Red League. So he's not long. He's no longer on the show. He's no longer on this plane of existence. He would have been a nice man for you to meet. So he could teach you the OG school way of handling women's stuff. Men don't get into women's stuff. They let them handle whatever they got going on. Because y'all think men think women just catty anyway. And we just fuss about in and everything. So with Aaron trying to put his two cents in. Where King was concerned. He was null and void in my book. Okay. I'm just keeping it real. But we going into the article. With Urban Bell. And I am looking for, okay, it was written by Amanda anderson Nile, And she says, uh, Candy Burr's clap back after Marla Hampton comes for Todd Tucker. Now, okay, 
we're gonna do another video on that one but i just wanted to recognize what the hell aaron was doing and talking to kenya moore and the way that he was talking to her he didn't like the way kenya moore was talking to his wife but we didn't like the way you were talking to kenya moore summer that is all right but it states in the article that um amanda had put out that is her name right yeah amanda we're just gonna touch bases on the part where Aaron gets into it with kenya okay it says interesting enough they aren't the only ones who end up getting into it in another scene kenya moore argues with sanya richards ross she says we are your guests and Sanya responds, I am not being rude. However, Kenya doesn't back down and she wants to be heard. I'm going to speak and then you're going to listen. I said, Kenya always does that. Maybe you missed the um, warning sheet that Kenya can slay anybody at any time with her verbalness. And she can get away with it because it just be that funny hell. Yeah, it just be funny. But anyway, evidently you didn't get the memo, Sanya. So, going back to the article, it says, Sanya isn't feeling Kenya's approach to the conversation. Don't tell me how to come at you when I'm upset. After Kenya pushes for Sanya to be quiet and let her speak, Sanya's husband, Aaron Ross, seemingly has had enough. He says, don't fuck with my wife. Okay, see, the, the F word was put in there. Do he not know to not talk to women? and cuss at them at the same time that's very tasteless very tasteless so are you trying to show us another side of you aaron aaron hall is what they call you but you're looking like a peanut head dusty mop right now a peanut head dusty mop that's the only thing i can come up with okay mr peanut head dusty mop if you don't sit your ass down and stop talking to women in that form of opinion or speculation or ideolo ideology you were going for to check a woman to put her in her place do you do Sanya like that honey we need to be looking at Sanya and y'all marriage does he talk to you that way Sanya because you know Marlo was just stirring up shit over there in your neck of the woods your young stumping ground. Jamaica, ma. Yeah. Jamaica, man. Ma, no. I can't get the accent. Because Kenya's going to do what she got to do. And she does it very well. That's why they call her the Slay Assassin. Okay? She would get you together in a heartbeat and won't leave no stones unturned. That's what the Kenya Summer Moore does. On Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I'm pretty sure she does it in her life. So, Sanya. What's the tea, Bill? What's the tea? Is this man that you pretty much. Tried to showcase to us. Ain't full of shit. Are we seeing the real him, Sanya? Let us sister know. Because you don't got my eyes open. And you don't got my ears ready to listen. Because he's worse. He... he I had, to, I had to run up on Todd. I was like, okay. Todd don't really, you know, get no cussing word going on. Even when Marlo and, and anybody else be coming for Candy. Portia. He don't really say nothing. Nothing like what Aaron said. Which is, don't fuck with my wife. But who gonna fuck with her then? Who, gonna, who can fuck with her? Just you? And she ain't liking you too much, Aaron. If the truth be told. You trying to make her have a baby. You trying to give her. Well no you didn't try. You gave her an ultimatum. Like who are you to be on somebody else's body. Telling them when they can come be pregnant. When they don't have to be pregnant. Have you lost your mind? Go on and tell us the truth Sanya. Sanya. That's why your mom and dad are living with y'all. Because he might be a little too rough with you. And they need to see for themselves. What the hell is going on. Because I was surprised that Aaron even coming off the way he did at Kenya. Mm, 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 mm. I don't like him now, y'all. I don't like him. I, I said I like the same the first time I saw but then she started being wishy-washy. She's trying to treat Drew any kind of way. Trying to talk about her like a dog. Now she's trying to get on the Slay Assassin. 
uh, Sonya, I think you don't, uh, you don't got pumped up in the head just a little bit too much. Cause Lord knows you don't want to go against Kenya. It would be a pretty sight. Would not be a pretty sight at all. And Kenya don't let stuff go until she feel like letting stuff go. Child, you better talk to Portia. You better talk to Nene. Hell, who else? Yeah, you can talk to Marlo. Because she's on Marlo's ass here and there, too. But they formed a relationship over some years. So they know how to forgive and forget. And sometimes they don't forget. But they go on and forgive that person. And they just shade each other here and there. But Kenya is the slay shade assassin girl. With Marlo coming up behind her. Remember, bless you, you the newbie coming in. You and Drew are the newbies, Kenya. Marlo. Candy. They the OGs. So you, you need to slow your roll for real. Slow your roll. Okay? Yeah. You being like Peter. We used to call him Patricia. When Cynthia was on the show. When Nene was on the show. But you don't went past yourself. Girl, I mean, maybe that's why you didn't get a second season of whatever show you were on at the time. Because they felt that you all didn't have that chemistry. You all did not have that match to entertain people. Because you couldn't definitely hold down Real Housewives of Atlanta. Oh, hell no. And Marlo, I think she could. I think she could. Hell. If it was push kind of show and candy, she had to give us this candy we're seeing this season for her to be able to hold down the show. If Kenya ever left or were incapacitated and she couldn't take. But not you sign your mm 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 mm. You done made so many mistakes being a newbie. And I had so much high hopes for you. But now that you and Aaron are coming for the Kenya Summer more, that shall not happen. That shall not pass. That's illegal. That's a foul on play. But anyway, you got to learn. You got to learn. And usually, Bravo does give you a second time to appear on the show. But if you don't act up and stri- st- fly right, then you might be gone. You might be gone like uh, Shamari DeVoe. Just like Kim Fields. Be out. Then what you going to be doing now? What I mean, is this a uh, limousine business? Is it taking off? Is it doing real well? Because, I mean, he's an ex-football player. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then he's trying to make you have another baby, too, when you're telling him you're really not in that frame of mind because you want to push him on with your career. But he ain't hearing that. He wants you barefoot and pregnant. And at home. At least that's what I see. That's what I see in my book. But that's all I got for this particular video, guys. I just had to bring that to fruition because I, I didn't like Aaron. The, what I saw, I knew I had heard something. But I said, no, maybe it ain't true. But see, somebody, as in Amanda Niles, done put it to, got, you know, done gave the subject some feet to walk on. And it walked on to my ear and said, yes, Aaron did a thing. Uh, the King of Sam- more. Yes, he did. What are we going to do about it? I said, ooh, we might have to start a petition. We might have to start a petition to say Aaron can't be shooting no more. Or maybe we need to find Samuel because her husband said what he said. Because they're one. They're the same. So we can get a fine out of uh, Samuel Ross out of her check. Because that was a very, very low blow to be talking to anybody's woman like that. Especially if they ain't your woman. Because, Ken, you don't have no man to defend her on what you said. You know, try to boss up. Try to throw them bows. But I'm pretty sure. Push it to come and shove. Todd might have been at your ass later on. Because Candy was saying, Todd, you better take up for it. Go on, take up for it. I ain't see the side of Sanya, her husband. But we know Kenya's side. She good. She good people. And he probably had to just say, well, Aaron, cool your horses, cool your horses. Or when he tried to lunge at Kenya, he probably would have grabbed him and said, okay. But Kenya would have had his ass in jail and she wouldn't have looked second at you, Sanya. Okay. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Like it, love it, gotta have more. You know I'll be back. Because my channel really talks about the housewives. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to get back into marital medicine, but I don't know, because Heavenly get on my nerves, too, with some of the shit she do. 
on on screen as well as off screen so i don't know i'm still looking about looking at it nah, I, don't, I don't know though i don't know so i'll see y'all next video guys night night bye bye